Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Create Above and Beyond. In the last episode, what did we do? Um, we set something up. <laughs> I'm sure we set something up. It was probably, I, I know for one thing, we split up our uh, energy production or our, rota uh, our rotational energy production. So we've got a bunch of water wheels over here spinning all this stuff. Pretty cool. Um, and then over here for our cobble gen, we've got the windmill at the top. Now, it is too slow. That's just a fact. It's just far, it's far too slow. I want it to be faster. Um, and, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So my plan is I'm going to tear that down. So the windmill at the top, we're going to bring that down and I'm going to either have a windmill down here or possibly even water wheels. I, I'm still not entirely sure. We also need at some point engineers goggles, but we don't even have any gold. Um, so th there's quite a few things that need gold that we just haven't really, I guess, unlocked yet. Just because we have we haven't mined enough to get gold, um, I, I put a few more chests in here as well just to make some space. Um, huh. I, I I don't know I don't know. So I, I want to tear this down. I guess we'll do the windmill. I'm also trying to keep an eye on the mini map to see if any sheep appear because I would love to bring some sheep back. Which reminds me, I probably shouldn't have processed all of that wheat into a dough, which is what I just did before. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah. Yeah, I'd love to set up a sheep farm because if we get wool, we can make a bunch of sails, which means we can make like a really good windmill uh, to power our thing. But yeah, I, I think that's pretty good. So, 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 so. Yeah, I think that's it. The, the other thing was the wrench. I wanted to make a wrench, but that also needs gold. We don't, we just don't have gold. Um, now, now, in order to speed this guy up to make him faster, we're going to need a lot of cogwheels, um, quite a few. So I've been down here, as you see, not not for too long at all, but um, I've been mining some andesite because that's obviously what we need. Um, and yeah, I should also, because like I, I swear we're getting server lag, and I don't, we really shouldn't be. So uh, if we catch it again, I'll try and look into it. But it's, I mean, regardless, it's not it's not bad enough that I think it's like ruining the video. I mean, maybe if I keep talking about it, <laughs> but. It is noticeable, ever so slightly. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, we don't need like crazy andesite, but we do need some because we need to make essentially a large cogwheel and a small wheel, a small cogwheel. We need to do that quite a few different times. Um, which reminds me, was I smart enough to process one algal brick? Okay, we're gonna need, oh, six more? Um, we are gonna need more though, just in, in general, we're gonna need more. Um, we've got kelp growing under there, so I don't, it doesn't matter if I use up all the kelp that we have wherever else we have kelp here. Um, we do need more clay, apparently. We don't really have much of a clay si situation going on. Um, I don't even have a shovel on me. That You know what? That would help. Um, See, so yeah, I'll just I'll just find some clay real quick. All right. Um, I got enough for, what, 56? So, oh, that's not kelp. That is kelp. There we go. Algal blends are oh, plenty, plenty. Um, so, we'll go and process this stuff. All right, this stuff luckily smells incredibly quickly. I, I doubt we'll even need to use all of this, but hey, at least now we've got it. Um, so we're going to put the algal in with the andesite cobble to make us andesite alloys. 33 is going to be plenty. Uh, now's where we need to make some gears or some cogwheels, as they're called. Um, we're going to need quite a few buttons. That's going to make us quite a few small cogwheels. 36, beautiful. Sounds amazing. Uh, we're also going to need some more. So I'm going to do like, I don't know. I don't know the exact numbers, but we're going to do that much, which is apparently 11 large cogwheels. Honestly, that'll probably be enough. And, you know, we can make more if we need to. Um, the next thing I need to do is, ow, is actually tear down our windmill. Um, so I guess I'm going to go up there and bring it down. Alrighty, it has successfully been brought down. I've actually forgot to break this stuff. Hopefully that wood doesn't land on top. Beautiful. Okay, everything comes down. Perfect. Um, the next thing I sort of want to do is... I feel like I want to build it off this way because like we've got stuff here. Um, I could build it underneath. That is something we could do, but I feel like that's going to be really annoying to like, um, you know, expand upon because it's, I don't know, we're going to have to go underwater to do all the building and stuff. And that just, that just sounds incredibly messy. Um, so instead, what we're probably going to have to do is set up a, um, a, what should we call it? Um, can I do this real quick? Andesite casing. That andesite casing recipe is amazing, by the way. I'm going to make a gearbox like so. The gearbox is going to go here, and then I'm going to place the windmill bearing like so. So it'll go off that way in that direction. And then we could possibly even build under it if we needed to, but I think it'll just be a lot better to to work with, I think. I don't know, but I think. Um, 
And yeah, n now we'll we'll get started on. Oh well, actually, no, I don't want to place it right there either. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we obviously we want to actually make this guy go faster. So what we actually need to do is this needs to be like a um, what do you call it? A small cogwheel? Oh, not a button. <laughs> Definitely not a button. A button is not going to do what we want. We need small cogwheel, large cogwheel. So we need to do uh small cogwheel. We need to do a large cogwheel. On the back of the large cogwheel needs to be a small cogwheel. And this needs to be connected to a large one. Then on the back of this can be a small one. Connected to that can be a large one. So essentially what's happening here, in case you're completely new to create or new to gears in general, because it works like this in real life too. Um, a large cogwheel will spin a small cogwheel really fast. Because look at all the teeth. Um, uh, what's a better way to example? I'm obviously not a teacher, so I'm not, I'm not the best at explaining this, but I, I will give it a try. Um, where, where's it? How, how can I do this properly? Um, let's say we had two cogwheels next to each other. Um, I don't even know if you can physically do that, but imagine if they touched, <laughs> if these cogwheels touched. In order for this cogwheel to turn this shaft in a full 360, so all the way around, each of these teeth are going to have to turn these teeth all the way around until it's a full 360, right? If this was instead a small cogwheel, have a look at what happens. In order for this shaft, so the same shaft as the big cogwheel, to do a full 360, it only has to turn these cogwheels a much smaller distance and only a few cogwheels as opposed to all these cogwheels over this much larger, larger distance. So the actual shaft itself spins really fast. And then what you can do is you can attach a large cogwheel to the side of that. And now because it's the same shaft, this cogwheel is spinning so much faster than this big one. And you can just keep uh, expanding upon that and making them uh, faster and faster and faster. So that's that's basically how it works. Hopefully that made some sense. I'm, I'm hoping it did. Um, that, that's essentially what we're doing. So you'll be able to see it um, in a second. What we can do as well is honestly expand this out a little bit. So let me go ahead and grab some planks. Um, grab these slabs. Beautiful. Um, while we're here, actually, uh, is there any sort of building wand? Is there like... There is. There's some stone wands we can make. Is this just using normal, like, cobblestone? Yes. Okay. I would like to make a wand because this will probably make my life that much better. Um, so let's chuck those there. Cobblestone. That's a wand. The way a wand works, well, we fall in the water real quick, is it will place blocks connected to other blocks. So, for example, um, if we were to use the wand right here, look at that. It just expands the entire thing out. Um, now, I don't really know. Do I want this, like, little level that we have here? It's not the ugliest thing. In fact, you know what? I kind of do want it. In fact, I want it so much that I'm going to actually break these, and we're going to expand it out. Because I'd love to have the ability to, you know, actually walk on my platform every so often. Um, so we place those there, place them there, there, and there. And then we can, you know, we can expand it as we need to, like so. And that, look, that looks a lot nicer. I, I do think that looks a, a little bit nicer. Um, let's go ahead and expand this out. Like so. Oh. Uh, boom. And boom. Now, these do have durability, as you can see. Um, and they also have, like, range limits. And these ones, like, this can only do nine blocks, the stone wand. The iron one can do 27, 128, and then, like, 1,000. It's pretty it's pretty crazy. Um, and they're pretty, pretty cool, as you can see. Um, so, this is probably fast enough, if we're being honest. Um... So yeah, let's go ahead now and set up a gearbox. Like, so. um, do I want to do a gearbox or do I want the windmill to go out this way? Because I could do that. Yeah, let's let's maybe just do that. So I'm going to place the windmill bearing there and the windmill's now going to go this way. So I'm going to slap on, um, what can we do to make this look a little bit nicer? Should I just quickly strip a, a log? There we go. Let's place one of these down. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> so on the side of this are obviously going to be our sails. Um... I don't know if it's going to work like this, but if it does, it would probably look almost cooler, um, right? Instead of being like a normal windmill, we're going to make like this little design here. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it actually works as connected because obviously visually these aren't connected, but they might technically be connected. You know what I mean? Minecraft style. So let's give it a test. Right click. Contraption was unable to assemble because the sails are not attached. Okay. So <laughs> the answer is no, this doesn't work. You have to physically have the sails attached. We can still do a similar uh, design, which is what I've done in uh, the Overstress series, which is place them like this and just do the same thing all the way around. So like, I'll probably have to do it like that. Um, and that, that works. So we're just going to do that. Okay. And that is the last one there. So this should work. I right click and oh, we actually do have enough rotational energy for this to work. 
Okay, more an issue. <laughs> it's going the wrong way. Um, there is a way to solve this. Oh, we're also, yeah. Ah, uh, I think it's falling off and then being put back on, which is kind of silly, but okay. Um, there's one thing we can do, which is we can honestly move this entire thing over. Th that would honestly work. Um, cause like, it, how much faster is it? Can we see the block being broken? It's still, it's still not f as fast as I want it. You know what? No, I'm, I'm not happy with this. I would like it to be a lot faster. So we're going to, we're going to make it a lot faster. W this episode, listen. If we, if we don't do anything else, we're going to make it faster. That's going to be the last thing we do. Okay. I, I, if anything, if we can get it faster quickly, then we can do some other stuff. But regardless, our goal for this episode is just making this guy very, very fast. So I'm, I'm just going to keep with it. I'm going to place that there. Um, I might even break this just to like continue going this way. Now I can obviously like loop it back around this way and make it not be as long as it is, which uh, not a bad idea. Let's see. Can I pick that up? Oh, of course not. Sinks to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> because of course it would. Um, but I could bring it back this way. Right? And then do this. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of this. <laughs> Look at how messy this is. Uh, listen, in the future, you can have one block that does all this. But uh, listen. <laughs> For now, we don't have that block. So this is what we're... You get what you're given, is what they say. That can go there. Okay. Let's see. Now, let me just say, there's a chance that this is too fast now, right? Um, I imagine it will be. My response to that is I'm probably going to try to make the windmill more powerful anyway, which will hopefully give it more stress units, which is what it uses to determine whether or not it will spin. Um, so it's just, I don't know. I don't want that dirt on me. <laughs> um, let's place our strip log. Let's place our sails if it will let us. Oh, no. We, we don't have a good angle for this. Okay, that is all of the sales. Let's see, will it turn? No, it won't. It is overstressed. Beautiful, overstressed. Um, now, if we had the engineer's goggles, we could see exactly how much it's using, I believe, and how much it's creating. We don't have that. So instead, what we need is, believe it or not, we need more sheep because we need more wool. Um, now, the question is, how are we going to bring those sheep over? Oh, we do have wheat. I didn't think we had wheat. Okay, okay, hold on. Um, where are we going to store them? We can store them up top. Uh, the, the sheep that is, yes, we're, yep. Um, let's grab some of these. Let's grab a few more sticks. Let's search fences. Um, here we go. What do we need? We need planks, but obviously we're doing spruce fences. So we've got, okay, spruce fences. Um, can we make a singular spruce gate? What do we need? Four sticks, four sticks. They will go like that. That will be a gate. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and slap this. I'll probably do it up here. I imagine somewhere. Um, this looks nice. <laughs> Just a little area here for, for a nice little sheep. Um, yep. <laughs> Listen, we don't have many blocks. Um, for the sheep to get in, we'll do it over here. Little fence. And there we go. Okay. Now we need to find sheep. Now, last time I think we went north for our sheep from memory. Um, so I guess I'll slowly find my way over there. They should spawn in this biome, I thought. But we ended up finding them in just like a normal biome. Um, so north we'll go. All right, sure enough, if you look at our map, we have sheep and we have alpacas. Um, the sheep are going to be returning with us. It is, listen, it's going to be a pretty long trek. I could do one sheep at a time in boats. That would be a, maybe faster, but we'll, I'll just walk them. I'll, I'll probably walk them off camera too, so that you guys don't have to endure that pain. Um, which sheep do we want? There's only two, so I, I guess I guess we don't really get to pick. Um, come on. We have, a, we have an adventure ahead of us, and the sun's going down, so... It's, oh my god, and I hate that, like, with wheat, sometimes they do this, where they're just like, nah, I don't care anymore. Uh, what does a lead cost? Slime balls, coagulated blood, doable. Rope is straw, straw is straw. Mm. I am tempted. I will admit, I am tempted to just make some leads. Depending on how difficult this ends up being. I think if, if, think if they stay in range of the wheat, like if I don't walk out of range, they'll just keep following me almost indefinitely. So let's see. Here comes the sheep. Yep. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I guess I'll meet you guys back at the base. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it was a scary trek, but we actually didn't encounter any mobs, so we're actually pretty lucky. But, uh, yep, just, yep, just walk in. Just simply walk in. 
Listen, you just need to walk in. Oh my god. Steep, man. Alright, walk in. Yep, in you come. And there you go. And I'm just going to quickly walk out here. I'm just going to very quickly do that. And we're good. Beautiful. Okay, we have sheep. Um, I can either breed them or I can grab my shears and we can shear them, which is probably the smarter option. And then we'll make some more uh, goodies. So I think I need sticks for the goodies. Um, the goodies being white sails. I should probably also sleep when I get the chance. Um, so let's do that and that. There we go. There we go. Is that everything? Yep, looks to be. Nope, not let out. Because obviously they can't walk in properly, but I'm sure they'd be able to run out properly. Um, so yeah, we'll sleep. We will make the sails. We will slap them onto our, uh, our doohickey and hope that it actually works. Uh, I'm, once again, I'm going to hope that it works. Uh, let's search sail. Here we go. White sail. This needs iron nuggets. Have we... Has our machine made any? One. Okay. Um, I'll look in here. Do we have any more? We have a second one. Any more? Anything lying around? No. So we're probably going to have to honestly just make some more. All right. White sails. Here we go. Um, it looks like we need a few more sticks, which I'm happy. We can we can make that. That's definitely within our budget. So we have eight sails, but is that another wool in here? It was. Um, I might as well. Why not? The more the merrier. So here we go. Ten white sails. Um, let's go ahead and I guess... Oh, 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 ow. I guess I want to... Oh, oh no. That's not meant to happen. Um, I wanted you to attach onto the edge of this stuff. But it doesn't doesn't really look like it wants to attach on the edge. Is that because this is technically a um, a windmill at the moment? And now it's not a windmill? And now I should be able to attach these? Yes. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to attach all these. Wonderful. I believe we can also, if we wanted to, do this. Which doesn't necessarily look the best, but hey, we just want it to work. That's all, that's all we're after at the moment. Um, so let's use a pickaxe, apparently, um, to break all this. Listen, once again, not the prettiest design. We can pretty it up, I guess, in the future, if needed. Let's go ahead and place that there, place that there, place that there. Will this guy spin? The answer is no, really. He still won't spin. Um, okay. Well, in that case, we need more sails. <laughs> we just need more. Um, okay. I guess I'll sit up here and wait for them to grow their wool, which, I mean, they're all on grass. They've got plenty of grass. There's a lot of grass missing, which means they ate it, right? It's dirt. It's not like coarse, coarse dirt or something. So I, I don't know why they're taking so long. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Luckily, honestly, them growing their uh, wool does not take long at all. It's, it's very quick. So I, I am happy about that. I will, however, need more iron, which I'm not happy about. But it's to make more iron. It's an investment, as they say. Um, Wow, we, we really picked a horrible spot to put this, didn't we? <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is one of those things where it's that ugly that what we might end up doing is just hiding it. You know what I mean? Like, build something around it so that it's just like an engine that's buried in a wall and we don't have to look at it. We don't have to be like, oh, what's what's going on back there? You know what I mean? Um, is this enough? Nope, not enough. Turn it back into the sail. Okay, <laughs> we're still waiting. Um, you know what? I do like the idea of turning it into like a... Um, just a, just a fenced-off area. Not a fenced-off, but like a walled-off area. So I might actually break around. You know what? Yeah, I'll tell you what. We're going to make this look good, okay? It's going to look good. <laughs> or at least it's not going to look horrible, okay? It might not look good, but it won't look horrible. That's That has sort of become our motto here on the channel. All right, so I may or may not have invested in a chisel. Um, I'm not sure if that was a good investment of my iron, but I, I kind of wanted to make this area look nice. Um, so what should we go for? Log cabin? Or should we go for, like, braced planks? There's some pretty cool blocks we can build out of. Um... I might go for these ones. Let's uh, let's give it a look. How does this look? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I'm on board. I don't know what it will look like when I get them all placed, but <laughs> I, I quite like it. It's very unique, we'll say. Um, by the way, down here, what I've gone ahead and done is I've connected this up, so we can actually connect it uh, or uh, you know, uh, enter it from here. So I'm gonna build these, I guess, to that point. Hmm. I, I don't know. I kind of wanted the walkway down here, right? To walk alongside it. So I don't really know what I've done here. Let me... I'll come back with a nice little pretty build here. Alrighty, you'll be happy to know that it actually doesn't look good at all. Um, and I believe it's because one of my... Um, one of my mods is making it so that the connected textures, as you can see, are acting a bit weird. Which is unfortunate, but... 
I don't know. We, we get a lot worse performance without it. So we'll, we'll see if that gets fixed in the future. Um, but hey, it doesn't look horrific. You know, I think this is as ugly as this might seem. I think ironically, it's better than um, just having the gears showing up. You know what I mean? In fact, what have I done here? I didn't even do this correctly. <gasps> what have I done here? This is, this is essentially the same speed. This cogwheel doesn't need to be there. What have I... What have I done? <laughs> How did I manage to do this? This is hideous. What I might as well do here... Hold on. Hold on. We can, we can rearrange this. We can rearrange it so that a big cogwheel is here. But in order for a big cogwheel to be there, these cogwheels need to be moved. Um, in particular, this one probably needs to be moved down there into a small cogwheel, which goes into a big cogwheel, which goes into a small cogwheel. That works. There we go. And now this is a little bit neater, right? Um, in fact, this doesn't need to exist, which means it can look like this. And does that look better? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It's, it's up up to jury. Up for jury? Up. It's... There's a jury. <laughs> um, I think we're almost done. I, I, I think we are almost done. I just need to go check on the sheep again. Make sure that, you know, they're still grown wool. As they should be. Um, a few more sales and we should hopefully be able to get this stuff running. Oh, beautiful. They're growing right in front of us. All right. And yeah, to get it all. To get in there, you go this way, which I probably should have torched up already because it is... Oh my God. It is a glitchy mess in here. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll, I'll look into it for the future episodes as to whether or not I want to fix this because I'd love to use Chisel. It's a beautiful mod, but I mean, yeah, you, I think you see the problem. Um, let's see. Can we turn this guy on now? Let's... Let's give it a test. So we, we can still run out here and right-click it from here. Oh, and it works. Oh, and look at the speed. You ready? Eh. I mean, we can watch it breaking up there. That's that's pretty quick. Compared to what it was doing, that's pretty good. Um, In terms of whether or not we're getting them washed, the answer is no. We're, straight up, we're not getting them washed. Um, Can we fix that? I'm going to be honest. I don't think so. At least not currently. I think what we're going to have to do temporarily is just set it up to have like a manual way to do it. You know what I mean? Like place down a depot and do it ourselves like one stack at a time. So does this work? Um, I don't, I'm not actually sure. Does that, oh, that does work. So yeah, we'll just do this temporarily. In the future, we can redo this system. It's as simple as adding an, uh, a brass funnel there because you can actually put filters on the brass stuff. Um, and then we can filter, hey, I only want iron and gravel, uh, iron and flint, and then the gravel won't be led through until it gets turned into iron or gravel. So that's fixable. I, I'm quite happy. Um, we are, however, going to need to light this place up now that it's a little bit bigger. It is uh, potentially a mob platform. So there we go. Place some down here as well. And then obviously place some on top of this hideous glitchy structure we've made. Beautiful. So far, so good. Um, so yeah, we've sped it up. I'm happy about that. Um, let me see if we can possibly even work towards um, getting bronze. Uh, getting brass, I mean. Um, we might not be able to do it this episode, but if we can at least get started, that'll be that'll be perfect. Because my main thing was making this faster. We've done that, which means I'm happy to look into what's next. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we will also probably have to turn this off when we log off or else this guy will eventually overflow. Um, in order to stop it overflowing, you could have it so that it eventually leads into like lava or something. You know what I mean? In fact, it's possible. No, I don't. No, I don't think. It will. Yeah, I think this will end up overflowing. So we'll have to keep that in mind. I've also, I should probably see. Like, is there how many items do we have on the ground? Wow, look at the birds as well. No wonder we're lagging. There's a hundred penguins on the map. All right, we're gonna. I'll have to set up some stuff to um, fix this issue. The um the items as well. It's sort of inevitable, but. We might have to crack down on that if it, if it starts becoming a, a bigger issue than it already is. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot. By the way, to, to do that, I'm holding control and pressing U. I, I, I know whenever I show off these cool um, performance, uh, like lag searching mods and stuff like that, people always ask. So control plus U, and this is called crash utilities. And you can cycle through a bunch of different things here and see like loaded chunks and stuff. Um, okay, so brass. I believe, here's my understanding. In order for me to get brass, um, we're going to have to cast it. Uh, we could do a trade station, but I think the trade station itself needs some brass. 
Um, we could do an induction smelter. The induction smelter itself needs some inva. Okay, look, that's not happening. <laughs> okay, but but you know, it's there. It's a thing that can happen in the future. Um, so at the moment, the caster table looks like the best. What I will do though is I'll check like these other ones because maybe the nuggets have like a quick little recipe. The answer is no. We can only get it from molten at the moment. Now, we obviously don't already have bronze stuff, so we can't do any of these methods. Um, what we're going to have to do is mixing, okay? We have to set up a mixing bowl. We have to have it mix copper and zinc, okay? And that will get us molten brass. Now, here's the tricky part that I'm not fully uh, fully sure of. We might have to use buckets, but it's like, how do we get this stuff in the bowl? I imagine we just use buckets. Like, we get a full bucket's worth of molten copper. We get a full bucket of zinc. We chuck it all in the thing. Sounds simple enough, right? Makes sense. Um, okay, so basin... Mechanical mixer. The mechanical mixer itself will need an anti machine. That's inevitable. Look at this. Look at these guys. They tried to kill themselves. Um, a whisk will be iron sheets. Five of them. We have four. Ooh, but I have... I know I have stuff that we can process. Um, yes, iron dust. I'm still going to need to use uh, sand because, once again, we don't have gold yet. I should probably, honestly, mine some gold just so that we don't have to do this every time. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. I'll also... I'll tell you what. I'll empty my inventory. How does that sound? Does that sound like a deal? Alrighty, I believe that is at least what we need at the moment. Um, so the whisk is going to be five iron sheets. So I'll go and get them processing. La di da di da. This guy's still not slow because obviously I haven't sped this stuff up. But it, it's fast enough. Like we don't need this guy to be crazy fast. We use it. We use this stuff rarely, if we're being honest. I should probably also get this uh wheat processing, the wheat flour into dough. That'll be handy um, for our bread. So that that guy's processing. We have the basin that we normally use for um, the for this guy whenever we need to use the mechanical press with a basin. Um, and that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, the whisk needs to andesite. That's easy. An andesite machine. That might be a little bit trickier, but it, it should still be doable. I'm going to grab my small cogwheels. I'm going to grab an andesite casing. We'll bring a gearbox with. I don't know if we need it. I'll also bring some andesite and make sure I have some wood on me just, just in case. Just in case. You never know when you need it. There's our sheets. Sheets like this. Anti-site alloys like that gives you a whisk. Um, the do, 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 do. the kinetic mechanisms. Oh, the saw. That's what I need. Oh, the saw. And then, yeah, it's logs. Saws, logs, uh, andesite. Specifically like this. And then how many do I want? I believe I want eight. So eight of those go in and then just as many of the rest go in. That gives us eight. These go around a um, uh, andesite casing to make an andesite machine. The machine and the whisk inside of our smithing table, which we still, for some reason, have all the way over here. And we get a mechanical mixer. We have our basin. made. The basin, by the way, is made out of five andesite alloys in like a, a boat shape, um, if you're curious. Uh, this guy works a little bit differently. As you can see when we place him down, he connects with a gear as opposed to with a, um, a shaft. So, what we actually need to do is place him somewhere else. Um, honestly, we can place him here, right? We've got the speed coming in. I mean, why wouldn't we, right? And it's, yeah, it works perfectly. So, I can place my basin right there. And this guy should work. By the way, the mixer as well needs to be going at a certain speed in order to even work. So, we, he probably wouldn't even work over there. Um, so, do keep that in mind. You might need to make it sp uh, sped up if it's not working for whatever reason. All right. So, um, hmm, now comes a bit of a messy part. I'm going to need some zinc and I'm going to need um, some copper. The question is, I mean, like, we only have one zinc, which is a bit rough. We're going to need some copper. We're going to need, uh, I guess, at least one bucket. And I guess now we'll see exactly how well this works. Oh, I forgot to also bring... I need a seared brick. Or an algal brick will work. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll bring the seared brick. Just in case. Um, I need to make the, the cast over here. Because I need to empty this guy oh, of his iron. Which is only three more ingots. So I'll do that off camera. All right, now that they're done, I'm going to chuck in my... Ooh. I'm going to chuck my zinc in over here to be milled first. I'm going to do the same with the copper. So I'll just do one for now, just so that we can get one made. So let's keep an eye on it. Okay, the zinc is done. We can take the zinc out. What am I... I feel like... Oh, I got pushed by the, the wind. Yeah, it's actually fast enough now that it's spinning that fast that it can push me away. Um, The faster it spins, by the way, is not the faster it processes. Do keep that in mind. Oh my god, this ink sacks... The squids, man. They, they don't like living. Uh, we have the copper dust. Beautiful. 
So now I should be able to run over here. I'm going to chuck them both in because apparently they won't alloy. Normally they would alloy together, but apparently they're not going to. So I'm going to chuck them both in. We have one ingot's worth of both, right? Um, not enough free space. I guess you can only have one type in here at a time anyway. Um, but what we're going to do is place the bucket down here and then pour the liquid into the bucket. <laughs> or not. I thought that's how that worked. Mmm. <laughs> that's that's awkward. That's that is awkward. Uh you know what? I'm gonna break this. That's gonna get rid of the uh the copper that's inside it, but we have plenty of copper, so I don't really mind losing the copper. Um I'm gonna go mine some more zinc and figure out exactly how much zinc we need in order for this guy to work. Um we don't have any more zinc lying around, do we? We really don't. Um okay. I will now, I guess, keep my eye out for more than one zinc. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have at least two. Uh, I might keep looking just for a few more because I don't know how much we need. It, can I have a look? Can I search bucket? I, I'm hoping it's a thing. Molten, um, let's search, what, what's it called? Uh, zinc. Here we go. Molten zinc bucket requires, ooh, it requires six ingots. Yeah, okay, we, we need to get some more. Damn. Why is that so much? For a bucket's worth? Okay. Okay. I guess we're we're back on the zinc the zinc hunt. How much does zinc um zinc 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 zinc? Uh zinc zinc zinc. Level 15 to 70. So we will not find any down here. I need to go higher. Um at least above 15. That is rough. I might actually go mining at 15 because I mean we also need the gold and whatnot. 16, let, let's mine here at, at like 18. Oh, okay. Well, um, fingers crossed then, because we need to find like what four or five more. Okay, okay, L ladies and gentlemen. Um, my iron pickaxe broke, and I continued mining, and we ended up here in into like a ravine. We have the randomium ore, so I'm gonna need an iron pickaxe. Uh, luckily, we have the iron to make that. There's luminous ore, more cinnabar, which turns into redstone. Then down here, there's appetite, there's certus quartz, lapis. This is like the jackpot. Ironically, I don't think there's any zinc though. But we have diamonds. We have ruby ore, right? And, and you might think, oh, he's, he's leading up to something. We have lead, more luminous. Look at what is up here. I stood on this broken stone and have a look at what's below it. A fluid pipe. What? Why? Why is there a fluid pipe? T ty Tyrion? Tyrion? We have some laboratory blocks encased fluid pipes. We've seemingly unearthed a laboratory. A laboratory. <laughs> I don't know why it's laboratory. Okay. <gasps> a golden apple, a lightning charge. We don't have the inventory for this. Some silver. Look at this place. It's just like a lab. How cool is this? I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, okay. A, a lot of these like laboratory blocks or, or laboratory blocks, they're just normal blocks. Like they're not... It's nothing too fancy. They're not worth, you know, carrying around, believe it or not. Um, I can place them. Like, they're cool. You know, they're probably not worth just voiding. So, I'll, you know, I'll place them down. Um, is that everything? To we'll place that one down as well. Um, I would much prefer to bring back the loot, though. Because it's possible we'll get something cool. What's that? What was that? Was it andesite? I think it was andesite. Um, let's see what's over here. If it, no. <laughs> I was going to say if it lets me up. Um, we got some rubber. Beautiful. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. Um, in here, we get some appetite. Nice. That's really cool. <laughs> um, oh, another golden apple and a gold coin. Oh, that's pretty good. Gold coins are pretty, they're worth a lot. Um, so to squats. And last but not least, a poisonous potato. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, it does look like there's a stair here. I wonder if there is an actual, like, another area to this. Now, listen, fluid pipes are cool. We could use fluid pipes possibly to draw the molten lava into the mixing bowl. But I believe we need a pump for that. Oh my god, it's so easy to make. We're gonna be we're just gonna use pipes. Oh my god. I mean I'm gonna try to see if they can transfer the molten. So that is awesome. Um while I'm down here, I, I would still love to come across some zinc, but. I mean, like, maybe further up on the walls it is, but... 
Hmm. I'm I'm a little bit disappointed because like I would love to ooh, get that bucket's worth, and I'm just this is the story of how we die. <laughs> oh, string. Okay, maybe a spider fell. Um. Oh, water, water. Okay, okay, we're good. Let's eat our last uh, sandwich. I still I don't really see anything. I'm out of torches, so I can't really go hunting for any. Um, that's a creeper. Okay, okay. Well, I'll I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Hmm. Random. And what's this? Randomium. Morphs when crafted. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I I want to get that. I'm gonna spend our iron in making a pickaxe. Okay. Hear me out. Oh, I'm making a mess. And I would like to mine this. I would like to mine this. And what is this? What have we just gotten our hands on? Import leather. We just got ourselves four bits of leather. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure. Should I... While I'm down here, I guess I should mine up some of this other stuff. Um, what can we get rid of? Sandstone stairs. What's this? Luminous. Or, yeah, luminous. Okay, it can be turned into glowstone, I saw. It can also be turned into a block. And the block can be turned into perfect buddy steel blend. Sure. Yeah, that's a thing. Buddy steel ingot. Perfect buddy steel metal. What? 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 Hold on. Was there armor that I saw? Okay, yeah. We can get buddy steel. Add the perfect buddy steel ingot. And it gets upgraded. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll come back. I'll come back for that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. What's this? Nitro. Okay. Um, so we didn't find any more zinc. We've still just got the two that we have. I, uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking we might have to consider trying to set up some sort of auto miner. Because I I don't like mining off camera. From Oh. I don't like mining off camera. Uh, but I also... Don't like mining on camera. <laughs> so we, we have a little bit of a situation, if you will. Let's break this. Just so I have a way back up. Okay, that, you know, oh my god, that was broken. Bad stuff. Broken stone is down there. Um, I need to go down here, but I don't want to stand on the broken stone and like die. Ah, uh, you know what? It's too late. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, do we have the zinc? Okay, we have the zinc. What's that? Nickel? We, we can come back for that. Um, is that most of... Oh, I would actually like to get the iron as well. You, you know, I'll, I'll meet you guys back at the top. Alrighty, there was actually a decent amount of nickel down there, so... Or, um, zinc down there. So we can actually probably get a bucket's worth, um, regardless of whether the pipes work. But I almost feel like in the spirit of, um, the mod pack, we probably should try out at the very... Oh my god. We should probably try out the, um... Oh my god, look at how much zip... Oh my... Oh my god, we actually hit a jackpot. What? What? Okay, hold on. Yeah, we, we probably will try the fluid pipes just so we know whether that works, but oh my god. We've actually hit an insane vein. I'm glad I saw this on camera. Holy moly. And there's even just copper. There's copper on this side and on that side. I'm probably not going to pick up the copper because, I mean, we have enough. Um, But it's there. Holy moly. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the top. <laughs> I know I said that before, but I didn't expect this. Alright, um, not to alarm you, but we have a wolf here, and I would like to make him my own. Wolf! No, no! Oh, that's why they're here, because they're tasty sheep. I got one? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! No! Oh my god, I was gonna say, we just met them. <laughs> they can't end like this. I'm already attached to them. Really, a creeper. Okay, that creeper's taken care of. While we're at it, I'm gonna run over here and... Probably just let this creeper blow up, if this creeper is even above the ground. Um, it is apparently not. Okay. We're good. We're safe. Wonderful. Nice. We've got, um, we've got two little wolves. Beautiful. Um, this wolf I'm actually going to bring over here to keep it away from our death spiral spinning machine over there, because that seems like probably a smart idea. So you can stay there. And there we go. We got two little pet wolves. Awesome. Um, okay. What next? Um, I've got all this dough that we need to cook because I'm getting quite hungry. So we should probably do that. 
Um, by the way, you can bulk cook if you put a, um, a, what, what, what is it called? What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? A campfire, um, in front of the encased fan instead of the, uh, water. And that'll actually cook things, um, for free without any fuel. Uh, obviously you need the rotational, but that's, that's it. Um, us, however, are going to just, uh, you know, cook things the old fashioned way. Alrighty. Um, we currently have 15 zinc dust, which should be five zinc pulverized up. We apparently needed what? It was, um, six total. It was six in a bit. So I, I don't know if we'll actually need an extra one. Um, so we'll see if we can do this before the server restarts. We're going to chuck in as much of this stuff as we can. I'll probably do it off camera because it takes a little while. I might even, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put that lot in and let me actually just get another piece just running. You know what I mean? Like just, just there if we need it. So I'll have that guy processing and, and I'll meet you guys back here with all of it smelted. All right, I've got the extra dust on us. I'm going to pour in the liquid we do have and see how much it does. It doesn't appear to be enough, so I guess we'll chuck in... I'm, I don't know if we need it all, so I'm going to do like one at a time, which is going to be wasteful for our wood fuel, but that, that shouldn't be an issue. Let's see. Pour that in. Okay. It still appears like it needs a little bit more, so we're going to try another little bit, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Let's pour this part in. Okay, that too, it looks like was not enough. So we'll check it out. This is going to be seven ingots. And I swear it didn't tell me seven was needed. Oh, look at how rough that is. So we do have a bucket of molten zinc and it left in. What did, what did it even leave in? I don't even know how much it left in. We, we can't even, oh my God, we can't even hover over the tiny amount that's in there. What? Oh my god. Okay. Let's um let's pick this guy back up and break him like just so that he empties of whatever was left in there. So there we go. Um let me see if this works. I'm going to run over to our mixing bowl and can I place Oh. Ah, uh, you know what? That's fine. Can I right click here? I can. Okay, so that's a bucket of molten uh good stuff. <laughs> molten good stuff. I'm going to chuck in 7 copper to get processed. And we're going to process seven copper in that guy. And then we're going to get a bucket's worth. We're going to chuck it in here. And hopefully it's going to give us like six and a bit ingots of um, brass. And then we'll try the we'll try the pipes. This episode, it might be a little bit long, you know, longer than it needed to be. But uh, I want to give it a shot. I'm going to wait for this to process. And yeah. Okay. Inside here, we have seven ingots. I'm obviously going to chuck down my bucket. I'm going to pour in my liquids. Oh, and the server's rebooting. So hopefully it pours quickly. Okay. There's our bucket's worth. Okay. <laughs> We've got that. I'll meet you guys back here after the reboot. All right. We are back. I've got my molten copper. Let me see if I right click it in. Sure enough, it goes in. And here we go. We're mixing it up. You can actually see the brass particles spitting out of this. This is really cool. I actually really like this. And what should actually happen is because this is automatically connected, it should actually just plop out the, uh, the brass we want once it's uh, built. Oh, well, actually, hmm. Is it making the liquid? It's making the liquid, isn't it? Hmm. I I might have to scoop it up with a bucket then once it's done. Um, but it should be mixing. I, this mod pack doesn't have the thing that lets you like hold shift and see what's in like certain items and stuff. I'm not sure if that's because it would show you like the stress units and they don't want you to do that without having the goggles on. But I, I'm going to look into seeing if I can add it. It's just a client side mod just so that we could like, for example, see the exact number of like uh, mill buckets of, you know, liquid in here. And, and, and I feel like for content as well, it makes it a little bit easier to understand what's happening. Um, oh, I didn't even realize it was nighttime. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I guess we're just waiting. Once again, I, I, I can't see how much we've got. Can I, can I bucket it yet? Oh, I actually can. There we go. I've got a bucket of it out. Um, perfect. Okay. So now this bucket, right, we can take this over here. If we go ahead and pick up the melter, to get rid of all the copper that's left inside it. We should be able to put in all of the brass. So we now have six ingots and a little bit. And I should be able to da, 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 take this stuff out. How cool is that? Um, so yeah, that's that's how you do that. Oh, this stuff dries really quickly, apparently. Um, oh, so there we go. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you guys. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Um, oh, there we go. Um, so this opens the door for a few things. I, I'm probably not going to use the brass this episode. So I do apologize if you're... A, excited to see that but i part of me wants to see if we can pipe into it with the fluids like with this stuff 
But I also feel like that's going to be a bit of an annoying setup. And I don't know if I want to do it. Um, you, you know what? I did go ahead and smelt up or, you know, crush up the copper because the pipes require some copper. Um, hmm. I could put like the melter. Where can I put the melter? Like here? The melter here. Have the pipe go underneath. Have the pipe come up. Put it in there. That could work. Y you know what? That would actually, it wouldn't look too bad. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to finish emptying this guy of all that he has. Um, uh, do I even want to get the nuggets out? I think I do, but I have a little loophole for getting these nuggets out. What I'm going to do is turn one of these brass ingots into nuggets. I'm going to put one nugget in there. So that will take this up to, a, to an ingot. So then we can go ahead and take an ingot out instead of having to make like, you know, eight little nugget things. Um, so there we go. There is still a little bit of brass left in there. But do you know what's going to happen to it? It's going in the gutter. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pick up both of these. Going to pick up this. Going to pick up this. Right. We're going to run all the way over here to this bad boy. And we're going to set it up, I think, here. I think we're going to just set it up right across the street. Uh, is it going to be messy? Yep. Do, do we care? A little bit. I'll be honest. <laughs> I do care a little bit that it's going to look ugly. Um... Uh, is there an alternative I can do? Can I quickly... Here's what I want to do. I want to place this here. I want to place the heater there. Then I want to break this. And th here we go. Here we go. So I can place this on here. Now we're going to have two setups. One setup is going to be this guy with the faucet. Okay. As, as per usual. This side is going to be the fluid pipe. Which I guess connects like that. Beautiful. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay. I'm, I'm very happy with how this is already turning out. Um, okay. Okay. So, da, 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 da. give me a second, give me a second. Um, what do I need to do here? We need to put the fuel in, and I need to start making my copper, because we do need more copper. Oh, oh no, it is working. It was just, it wasn't sure if it wanted to work, okay? But it's working now. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm sort of like talking fast, because I want to speed run this. I want, I want to get this stuff done. Um, two. Um, that should actually be enough, believe it or not. I think this will be good enough. So, let me get out my um, ingots once again. If we get a little bit of gold, we can make a permanent uh, cast, which means I won't have to do this sand thing every time. We'll just be able to pour it out, which is what I really want. But <laughs> we don't. We still don't have gold. Um, in a future episode. In a future episode. Okay, so um, two of these copper ingots, I believe, need to be crushed. Let's double check. Let's search um, fluid. Yep, two copper sheets and one copper ingot. So there's our extra copper ingot. Ding. There's our brush, a uh, copper sheet, sorry. Copper, copper, copper. We have fluid pipes. One of these with a cogwheel becomes a mechanical pipe. Okay. Um, now comes sort of the tricky part. I obviously want the fluid to end up in here. Do we have enough pipes to make it look good? That's the first question. Can I run it under the floor here? Is essentially what I'm trying to say there. Um, you and you. And then one, two, three three. Oh my god, look at how close. Oh, you know what? No, we still aren't, because i got to place the pump as well. Um, okay. We, we almost had it. We almost had it. Hmm. We could also, I guess we could run it along the floor. You know what I mean? We, I mean, we could run it above as well. Uh, there's so many options. <laughs> there's too many options. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with all the options we have. Uh, break you. Break you. Break you. Alright, so we could have it like this, which it's not the end of the world. I, I, I still think it looks pretty cool. We could even have it go over if we wanted to. Um, but one of these needs to be, and, and this is where it gets a bit tricky, needs to be a mechanical pump. <laughs> Ideally facing the right way would, would help, would help. Um, can we even do that? Do we have the ability to place things the right way? Let's walk back here and see. Can I, can I crouch and place it? There we go. Okay. This guy is currently facing the wrong way. Beautiful. We don't have a wrench, so we can't even spin him around without picking him up and hopefully hopefully placing him the right way around. No, oh my god. I can't I can't like get an angle on it. Alright, alright, here, here we go. We go from under. So place it right there. Okay, let's uh let's get back up. <laughs> let's check. The arrow's still pointing the wrong way. I need it to go the other way. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Okay, yeah, no, the arrows are going the wrong way. Ah, um, hmm, I don't know what to do. The other problem is obviously we need to get rotational energy over here, which is going to be you know tricky within of within itself. Um, 
Where do we have... None of the cogs are even going the right way to do that. Hmm. You know what? There is one thing we can try. And that is, if we come over here, um, you can see this right here is a vertical gearbox above this slab. I'm just going to just very quickly break this slab. Yeah, see, see this guy? If I grab some shafts, we're probably going to have to craft them, but that's fine. I can bring this down here to this level. We can set up a vertical gearbox here. We can run this along like so until we're there. And then I should be able to attach a small cogwheel. And yes, and it's rotating the right way. Oh my God, this is perfect. So check out this. Now it's spinning. The arrow's changed because the way that the cog's spinning is that way. If we were to add an extra gearbox in, it would rotate the other way and go that way. Okay. So, so far, perfect. Like quite literally perfect. Um, I'm going to send in my zinc to get crushed. The rest of my zinc. Or, or to get milled up. I'm going to put in this copper. Are you ready for this? This is the make or break situation. There is one ingot of molten copper. And sadly, it's not going through the pipe. Oh, no. Do we have, like, a better pipe? You know what I mean? Like, is there a pipe from Create that's made out of, like, brass or something that's better? Um, oh, I accidentally uh, screenshot. Um, create. Um, sadly, I don't think we do. We have the fluid pipe. Mm, no, it's not looking good. A valve handle? That could be cool. Hmm, it's really not working, is it? Oh, we have a visitor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they've, they've hunted me down, I guess. Um, Because I don't actually have a waystone set up or anything. Are waystones in the pack? They're not in the pack. We're going to set up uh, some other sort, type of uh <laughs> things. All right, well. <laughs> um. Okay, okay. How? Oh, wait, what, what? It worked! Oh my god, it worked! Oh, oh my god, I was, gonna, I was gonna try and problem solve, but the problem solved itself. Oh my god, that is perfect. So now I can chuck zinc in. So an ingot of copper and an ingot of zinc. So I guess it just takes a little while. Oh, I wish I had my uh, had the wrench as well, because you can open these up and see the liquid go through. And it would look really cool. But we'll give it a second, I guess, for the liquid to make all its way through here. And oh my god, there we go. Yes! That is awesome. That is so cool. I'm so happy. So now what we can actually do... Oh my god. Do you think we can do it? No way. If I place it... Ooh, no. Hold on, hold on. We don't want this to happen. Um, hmm. How could I easily hook this all up? I, I, ideally, I was hoping it would do this sort of, sort of thing. Um, hmm. How do I get it out easily? Because obviously it's in there. We could just keep filling up until we have more than a bucket and then do it that way. That, that would work. It would work. We could set up a second pipe. We could pipe out the side of it here. And then, <laughs> listen, I don't know if this will work, but if it does, it'd be pretty funny. Um, can I put a faucet on here and do this? <laughs> can you imagine if that worked? That, oh, that would have been, been the perfect solution. <laughs> that would have solved it right then and there. Um, okay, okay. Um... Interesting. Just real quick, does that attach? It does. Um, okay. Can we see if this works? Like, oh! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness something incredible. Listen, this is why you come to the channel. I bet you no one else is doing this in this entire playthrough. Okay, what we want to do is search seared, and it's called a channel. A seared channel. It's made like a boat with these seared bricks. And check out this. Oh, I'm so happy. So, for one, I could place it... Um, oh, how do we want to do this? I could place it here and here. And then you right-click to, like, connect them. Can I place it here and, like, connect them this way? No. Okay. But this should work. So, as you can see, it's beautiful. What I can do now is I can break this block here. <laughs> we can place our seared casting basin underneath it. We can right-click a hole into this. And now this will work, if you can believe it or not. Oh my god. Okay. I'm I'm so happy. I am incredibly happy with this. This episode has been extremely successful. <laughs> We've done everything we wanted to do. We, we have brass production. Um, so, that should get sent out. We'll put the zinc in to get processed. Um, once again, really, gold is something that we need to be looking for pronto. Between 1 and 32, I would love to get this. 
Um, because it opens the doors for all that all that good stuff we wanted. Um, is there like a loophole? If we had a gold horse armor. Um, obviously a trade station. Trade station is actually doable now. This might be worth doing. Because we have a gold, ingot, uh, gold coin, which means we can afford this. The brass machine? Uh, it's going to be a bit tricky to do. But it is doable. Right? It's doable. Hmm... Okay, but yeah, look, th this guy has brass in him. Check this. I right-click here. <laughs> and it pours into this. And then it's meant to pour along here. Oh, it, look, there's arrows going that way. I need to change it so the arrows go that way. Yes! Success! Success! So if I wanted to, I could have this guy be over there, you know, and do one ingot at a time. But I'm, I'm happy with this. So what I'm going to do is figure out exactly how much we have. So we have what? We have one in there, one ingot in there. And then this is um, obviously seven ingots. So I guess I'm going to try and chuck all this in. Um, oh, uh, oh, oh. Hmm. I'm trying to think like, how do we automate this apart from just a hopper? Uh, oh, wait. Oh my God. The perfect solution. Oh my God. Listen, Th this episode is just so successful. <laughs> I should be able to set up a chest and a chute. I could even just do a shoot if we wanted to and just drop stuff on it uh, from the top. But I should also... Oh, oh my God, I really can't. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, look at that parkour. I should be able to put all the copper in there and it should all go in here. Uh, we're we're going to have to put some more fuel in, but listen, that is... I'm perfectly okay with doing that. Yes. How much zinc do we have? We have 11. Um, Let's chuck it all in. We're only using it for brass. Might as well. Oh, I'm so happy. This is so good. Now, we do have a potential issue, which is when I pour this, it might pour out the copper or the zinc when they're not mixed. Maybe, maybe not. Um, you know what? That's a problem for another episode. Oh, I am so happy. Look at this little setup we've got. Oh, even the wood. Has the wood fixed itself? Oh, I think it has. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh, that part especially, the way that it forms around the edges. That is so cool. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Oh my god, the fish. We, we're going to have to set up some things to get rid of all these fish. Um, yeah, look at this. Look at this cool structure we made. And then we've got... Oh my god, I'm so happy. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, if you like the video, you can press the like button as well. Thank you guys. Um, thank you to everyone who supported me financially. Whether it's watching an ad, donating, donating to me on our Discord, or becoming a channel member. Thank you guys a lot. Um, it, it, it's pretty crazy. Now I don't know what to title this. I was going to do speed, but I think I think now this video is brass mixing. And like, look look right here. Look at this. Oh my God. The perfect thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.